On home soil. First look at the lineup for St. Benedict's College, the defending champions. And look at that, pretty much unchanged court, minus, of course, uh, two big players, Tariq Lee, the secondary school's player of the year. Well, however, Anthony Williams will come in, as well as Jaden Grant will get an opportunity. And number eight, Darrell Garcia. All eyes certainly will be on him after that NGC Super Cup performance. Randolph Boyce continues on the bench. Well, when you look at the formation, look at Morian there to provide cover for Ocho and Grant to get forward. Garcia, as we mentioned, three goals in his first outing on Saturday. He will be wanting to be amongst the goal scorers again. A familiar 4-1-4-1 for St. Benedict's College. Alsan won North. They are ready and rearing. And uh, without Larry Noel, the league's top goal scorer last year. That role will be taken by number 21, Jaheem Dan Clare. And uh, from all indications, he is a top player. Lindell Sween continues after his uh, TTPFL debut season. And Nathan Kwashi, who also participated for W Connection in the TTPFL. And a big grab from Arch Rivals QRC comes into the lineup. Jerry Moe, the very experienced coach, is on the bench for this team. Yeah, when you look at the lineup, Kwashi and Lewis, very important for today's outing and being able to spot the danger in that San Juan midfield. Look for new boy Dan Clare to try to follow in the footsteps of Larry Noel. Of course, a very big shoes to fill, but we would be excited. Afternoon and evening as San Juan North Secondary take a famous 4-3 win over St. Benedict's College at home. Let's look back and see how it started. It started here. Some good footwork, Quashi, the new man, and setting up for another new man, Dan Clare. Jaheem Dan Clare getting the first item, and San Juan will up 1-0. Quashi transferring from QRC, and what a start to his career at San Juan. Dan Clare replacing Larry Noel, who was their top scorer last season. But then, came St. Benedict's College, and no surprise as Darrell Garcia was able to squeeze away past a big guy, Langa, in goal. And he made it one all to the defending champions. More from Garcia, showing his pedigree. And Grant, the recipient of his bursary. And he put the Laramie Lions 2-1 ahead. Exceptional footwork. Grant with the gift. And St. Benedict's were ahead 2-1. Bukmanach's boys, though, depended on Lindell Sween, another number 10. And Kwashi, thronging the icing on the cape with a scintillating finish. And that made sure that the teams went to the break level. Reverse pass. And a kiss of death from Kwashi. And then Sween involved at the corner. And Joseph getting his purchase. And that puts San Juan 3 2 ahead early in the second half. Certainly enjoying that moment. Was there to be more? They wanted more. And there was more. No surprise, the boogeyman, Sween. Top pocket. And that's a goal that certainly will dominate all of the highlight reads for the entire season. 4-2 to San Juan at that stage. And they felt the job might have been over. Talk about making yourself a cult hero. Oh. St. Benedict's were rolling over like that fan at that stage. But the Laramie Lions are not defending champions for nothing. And Jones made sure that we would go down to a nail-biter. 
getting his head on this heat seeker in the area. That made it 4-3. But then time ran out. And his joy would run out as well as San Juan would win this one by four goals to three. Let's look at the numbers. And San Juan certainly improving in terms of shots. Uh, much closer. Very, very tight. A little between the team's shots and shots on target. In terms of fouls, well, a very rugged big boy contest. 19 fouls in total. 11 to St. Benedict's College. And uh, possession, San Juan North dominating that statistic. 53 to 47. And uh, the final score in this one, 4-3 to, to San Juan secondary. And the match as close as it looked on the numbers. Well, I'll tell you what wasn't close. Our choice for man of the match. And he's standing by with Hansi Fiends. Thank you very much, James Saunders. Two assists, getting one behind the net as well. Mr. Sween, how does it feel to be man of the match today? Well, it feels really good to be man of the match playing against one of the best teams in the league last year. Eh? And coming and beating them this year in the first game. Is a good feeling. Well, I like the way you, you, you tied in last year into this year. What can we expect from you and Sawa North Secondary in 2023? Well, you could expect plenty goals, plenty assists, and you understand? Playing football, that I like to play. That you love to play. Congratulations, Lendel Sween. Right now, we get ready to speak to our coaches. Brent Sancho is on deck with Randolph Boyce. Now joined by Coach Boyce. Coach, of course, a disappointing result for you. How did things pan out throughout this game? Uh, well, as you can see, it was a very interesting game. Uh, the Sawa team have a lot of energy. I think the atmosphere and everything suit them right. And they had more energy than us today. They work harder. Uh, work hard off the ball, on the ball. You could see that they really wanted it. We were kind of lethargic in terms of getting into the game. And I, I, something I feel something didn't click right today with the guys and them. So, well, obviously we have a whole season ahead of us, but there's seven goals conceded in the last two games. Certainly a concern for you. Yeah, definitely a concern. Um, in training, definitely had to work on the defensive aspect of tightening up things. Uh, something with the mind and just a little, a little kind of like we could fix it. I believe we could fix it. Certainly. So, thank you very much, coach, and all the best. No problem. Of course, uh, I'm now joined by the winning coach, Coach Mo. Of course, a happy man. A man that normally don't show emotions. But tell us your thoughts on this uh, 90 plus uh, minutes. Today was a tough one, you know. Um, we really, really earnest started preparing for this tournament less than two weeks ago. You know, we, after the results come out, and we still have a couple of boys we're trying to get into the school. So it was a difficult preseason for us, you know. It was very inconsistent in terms of the numbers. That's why you see a lot of guys cramping up, you know. And to get a victory against the defending champs, I mean, if you tell me I'm getting a draw, I'll take that. Much less a 4-3 four, four, victory. Well, you got your win. So is it now that San Juan North have their eye on the prize, winning the SSFL Premiership title? Well, that's my job to keep the guys grounded, you know. Um, you got to take it one game at a time. At the SSFL, they have no easy game. So my job is to get them grounded and get ready for the game on Saturday. Thank you very much, Coach. All the best. You're welcome.